Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a few pieces of decor that I have been collecting for a little while and I thought I would show you guys now while I am at home and I have the time. This stuff is thrifted. Some of it was from a pumpkin farm. Kind of just a random haul, but the point of it is to kind of get ready for the fall season. So yeah, let me just get into it. Okay, so the first thing is a blanket and we have a few throws on our couch, but I wanted to have more of a kind of variety to choose from and also just more color in our living room. Um, this color actually matches part of our rug perfectly, so I think it's just gonna stay all year round. Just a throw. <laughs> I got this from the thrift store, but the texture is really nice. We have some nice fringe. It's a decent thickness and size, so this is nice, and I'm gonna throw it back to the couch. There we go. That, I remember, was $7, and I did get that at Savers. The next thing is also from Savers, and I got these a while ago, um, and I just still haven't put them up. They were $1.99, and they are candle stick holders. So the reason I haven't put them up is because I don't have candles. <laughs> <laughs> to put in them. I just love the look of these. I think they would look so pretty just like on a blank wall kind of staggered in a way. They are by the brand Hoda. Stands for House of Decorative Accessories. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> that took so long. So, I don't know. They seem legit. There's a, like a stamp in them, so. Actually, it's like soldered on there. Anyway, $2 for these I thought was a great deal. And I guess if I don't end up using them, I can sell them. I'm sure I can get way more than $2 for these. So we'll see what I end up doing with these. Also at Savers, I got the cutest little pottery bowl. Just love all of these colors. So pretty. It's like army greens, tans. Terracotta. Literally couldn't get more me in a little pottery piece. And I actually put my little plant in there. <laughs> I've had this for years. This is a succulent, I think. Watch me be wrong and I'm just like, this is a succulent. But I think it's a succulent. It has like purple on the bottom. You see that? Anyway, I've stuffed it in here because I need to actually pop this thing because getting big. Anyway, this is a really cool looking piece and it says USA 22 on the bottom. I don't know what that's about. I almost want to look that up, but yeah, I just loved the look of this and it goes great with my decor already. Then we've got some pumpkins. So I think a month ago or three weeks ago or something, um, I went to a pumpkin farm with my friend from our small group with her son and we had so much fun but their pumpkins were very cute and I didn't need any large pumpkins because we don't usually carve anything like that but I got some little baby ones that look very very adorable. I've kind of just put like dispersed these around our house. I got a bunch of different sizes. There's this very small one. It's so cute though. Um, and then there's two other ones. I liked the shape of this one. You pr can't really even see it with my background, but it's more like a taller pumpkin. And then this one is also similar, but this one's the biggest. These were all one dollar each, and so, like, you know what? I usually don't buy stuff that doesn't last, you know, like rotting pumpkins, <laughs> but I thought these were too cute to like pass up. Um, and it definitely spruces up our home. So, those are fun. And then I got three other ones. I got this one. And he's just cute and he's like more green on the back, which I think is so cute. And these ones were also a dollar each. So I got six pumpkins in total and I spent six dollars. Um, so, we have another little orange one. I loved the stem on this one. I think it's so cute. My favorite by far is this one and it's like a cream color. This is so cute and it looks more like a gourd than a pumpkin to me. But I love it. Although the only bummer about this one is 
it doesn't sit up straight so it kind of falls over so you have to prop it up but it's fine it's only gonna last for a little while so those are all the pumpkins that I found I know that's really random to show you guys but I thought it kind of went with my theme of everything that I found and then the last piece I have to give credit to my mom for she's actually had this piece for years and this was actually her mother's before it was mine and then it became mine <laughs> mostly everyone knows on my channel that I live in Minnesota and this is Minnesota's state picture apparently um, this is called grace and it just features a man praying over his super simple meal I've loved the story of this for as long as I've seen it at my parents' house and the colors and I see so much in this picture, but briefly, I'll just tell you. Um, I love that he's an older man. I love that he's probably had his faith in the Lord for years and is still praying and is still blessing his food um, and just thankful for it. And also the fact that he literally just has some bread and a simple bowl of soup is just so symbolic to me of being grateful for everything that we have and just recognizing that everything we have is from the Lord and I just I love this I love this so much and I have this sitting well right now it's in my hand but usually it's hanging up in our dining room and I just couldn't be more grateful for it and my mom willingly gave it to us on the back it says heirloom of tomorrow Dixon's Seymour Indiana so I don't know if that's where my grandma got this. I don't know how old this is, but I absolutely love it. I love having a little piece of her in our home. So those are all the pieces that I have found recently and just over the last couple of weeks. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of those finds. Please like this video if you enjoyed and please comment any comments or requests or questions that you have for me down below. I would love to film videos that you guys enjoy. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video from me. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.